Greg, you're back in Glasgow, having recently played in the Pacific Nations Cup. How did that go? Uh, yeah, it was tough. You know, the the last couple of games I played were uh, back in February, so um, to get out there to start in that first match against Samoa probably wasn't my best performance. I think I was sucking a lot of air in that first 20. Um, but as the games progressed, I got more and more used to it. Got my game fitness back that I knew I always had. Um, and by the last game against Canada, I felt real good and was just loving playing rugby again. And you played Canada just on Monday. How's the how's the fitness coming along? Yeah, the body the body's good. Quite sore still. Um, just ironing out a few uh, niggles in the body. But um, yeah, mate, the body's feeling really good, and I'm getting out into the paddock with the boys and running around. So it makes makes everything a little bit better. And explain your sort of mindset going into the next few months because you're also wanting to be involved um, at the Rugby World Cup. How are preparations for that going? Um, good. You know, it's it's it's. So, so at this point, I just want to try and get the body right to be back 100% after those few games because the short turnaround didn't help, um, but also get the small technical at, um, technical assets part of my game that I, uh, you know, weren't 100% in, in those games, try and get those down pat. So I'll give the selectors, you know, the, uh, the best opportunity to get selected and stuff, yeah. So. And how do you rate the Pacific Nations Cup as a sort of tournament and a place to showcase your skills? It, it was very good, you know. The uh, it's it's very much a tournament like a tournament situation where all the games are quite close together, and it means everything when it comes to preparation uh, uh, of the body of the mind, um, and with with the team, it comes very close to all those things, and you've got to work hard with the team to nail those down because I mean, two of our last games were we had four day turnarounds. So you had to really be on point with everything. And um, if you weren't, then, you know, the better teams like Samoa, Fiji, Japan will take get the better of you and, you know, knock you out of the comp. When you signed, we obviously weren't crowned the champions. That obviously happened. We beat Munster 31-13 in that historic game. Mm -hmm. Were you watching that match and how excited are you to now link up with the club that are the champions of the league? Yeah, week? definitely. You know, watching that match, you guys played some very exciting rugby and, you know, the, the rugby I like to play. So um, it was as much as I wasn't a part of it, but I was, it was very good watching, watching the team win it and hopefully we can do it again and I can be a part of it this time.